Hello everyone, this is Cesar and today I'm going to show you how do I record with my Helix in my computer using Reaper as a door. I think this is an interesting video for the ones who want to record using the SPDIF, using the digital way, right? And I hope you will find it interesting. Let's go. Well, so that's the way the back of the Helix looks like and as you see you have many possibilities but we are going to focus on what I do and for this it is very important that you take a look here to the SPDIF, right? To the SPDIF, right? So basically here I hook in the guitar and then let me just zoom it for you. As you see I'm using the SPDIF option. Basically, the SPDIF stands for Sony Philips Digital Interface and I'm hooking the SPDIF out of my Helix to my SPDIF in, in my Focusrite. So I'm using an interface with the Helix. In this case, my interface is my Focusrite 6i6, which I absolutely love. You don't need to do that. You could hook directly your Helix with the USB to your computer. This USB goes to the computer, right? So you don't need to use an interface uh, to record with your Helix and to use your DAW. My DAW is Reaper. But then you will lose the digital quality of the recording, right? And I really like using SPDIF. So the main difference is that I use Helix with an interface. You could use it directly just with your USB cable going to your computer but on top of that I'm using the SPDIF. And now let me show you the back of the 6i6, the Focusrite 6i6 and as you see here it is. It comes from the SPDIF out of the Helix to the SPDIF in of the Focusrite 6i6 Solo. This is the USB that goes to the computer from the Focusrite and these two go to the monitors, right? So it's a very simple setting, but sounds really delicious. And now it's very important that you follow me here. Look, this is Bender, this is my Harley. And I'm not bald, eh? simply I lost a bed and I shaved my head, I promise. It's growing back and I will show you when it's back, right? Anyway, let's focus on what we have to focus. So the idea is that now we have our guitar hooked in our Helix. The Helix connected through the USB to the computer and with the SPDIF to our um, interface that in our case is the Focusrite Solo 6i6. Now we are going to open Reaper which is the uh, DAW that I use. And it is very important that your DAW, Reaper, in this case when you go to Preferences, you set up the audio device as a Scarlett 6i6 USB is going to be recognized, but this is not going to be recognized. The sample rate. Helix operates at 48,000. So you need to set this to 48,000. And this is very important because if not, you are not going to be able to record. So you just simply set this to 48,000 and you are good to go, right? The door must be set up at 48,000, right? Good. So now we have our door set up at 48,000. And the other important thing is that you should download your Helix Edit from the website, once you buy the Helix, you will get all the links because, look at this. Now it's connecting through the USB to the device and it's going to allow you basically to choose your settings, right? And this is a great tool because it allows you to choose your settings, right? and allows you to change the volumes, the dynamics, the pedals, the amps, etc. We will record a video about how to manage the Helix, uh, the Helix Edit and how to change your settings, etc, etc. For now on, what I'm showing you is how to use your Helix with your computer. 
So what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how it works and how it does record with the DAW uh, directly in the computer. So here we are in the Helix Edit. I have chosen a preset, the Plexi Monster. It has a lot. One day I will take you through the uh, Helix Edit and how to basically manage it, and how to create your own rigs, and how to modify the rigs that are already in the presets. Of course, with the floor unit, you can change from one to another with the pedals. Okay, so now we are going to focus on the edit, edit, right? Now, let me minimize this for you because the idea is that now I'm recording with the door in the upper part, in the upper track is my voice and in the lower track my trusty Yamaha SG1820. <laughs> That basically we have chosen this preset of Plexi Monster. Well, today we have seen just the basics. In another video, we will go through the different options, how you can create your own rig, how you can tweak the presets. I think it's a great piece of gear. It sounds beautifully and I'm really enjoying it. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notifications bell, right? In order to know when I upload a new video. And if you want to win a guitar, I'm going to put a link in the description section because we are running a contest until we reach 20,000 subscribers. Hit in that link, you will watch the video with the rules of the contest. See you very soon in my next video and up to that moment, play your guitars, have fun and be good. Bye!